Hi, I'm Jim Cleefeld, and I... Oh, wait, that's a little loud. Let me see if I can get my uh, sound engineer to turn the volume down. That's good. All right, thanks a lot. Actually, you know what? Can you just uh, bump to the next track? Okay, that's even better. <laughs> Actually, I don't have a sound engineer. I'm using sound control. I'm controlling the music myself. I've got a small amplifier right here, and I've got it hooked up to sound control. Let me show you exactly what that consists of. This is my amplifier. It's a micro, but you can use any amplifier. My music is right here on this iPod with a track list. And, right here in my pocket, I have a remote control that's controlling the music. Let me just stop that, just like that. Now, you didn't see me controlling the music because I kept that in my pocket. When I drop this in my front pants pocket, all I have to do is keep my hands at rest. When I keep my hands at rest, my fingertips can feel the tactile bumps right here in the outside of the remote control, and I can do just about anything I want with the sound. I can hit the play button. I can hit the stop button. I can advance it to the next track or back it up a track. There's the next track. And I can control the volume, make it go up or down. I can even get it to pause and wait in pause mode for as long as I want without going to sleep. Now most Apple products, including this Nano iPod, will fall asleep if you don't play music continuously. With sound control, I figured out a good workaround for that. A way to keep your music on cue all the time. Here's what you get with sound control. This small receiver right here that plugs into the bottom of, a, of an Apple iPod. You can use a Nano or a Classic of just about any generation. It won't work with the Shuffle, the Touch, or the iPhone, but just about every other iPod will work. This receiver has a line out so you can plug in any sound system. Just put an eighth inch mini jack right inside there. Plug that into your dock on a Nano, a Classic, or almost any other iPod, and you're ready to go. Now you might have noticed right over here there's a big green three. That big green three is my track number, and that tells me I'm on track three of my Dragons and Dreams show. If I hit the next button on this, uh, then I can send that to the next track. I can, let me plug it right back in here like this. There we go. I can send that to the next track. Now, you see it's on track four. I've taken the uh, cord out so you can't hear that now. I've got 30 different track numbers for this one. Not only that, but I've got track numbers for 16 different shows. You see this? There's a purple background with a white number 6 on it. I can push the sound control button and bump the tracks on this up to the next track, the next track, and keep right on going. Sound control works to control your music invisibly. Drop this in your pocket, you'll always be able to feel and touch exactly where you want to go. The specialty tracks that you get with sound control will keep the iPod from going to sleep. When you get sound control, you get a CD with a manual and instructions for how to set everything up. And believe me, it's really easy. You also get the hardware that you need, a very reliable, very dependable Maxell remote control that I've taken out, specially adapted and modified, so you can touch and feel exactly where all of the controls are. You also get the receiver that plugs in the bottom and a complete CD with over 500 pieces of artwork on it, so you can add track numbers. It's not as easy as it looks, but it is pretty easy once you go through the manual. You can put track numbers on every single track. You can use the specialty track to keep this from going asleep, and you can always control your music at your fingertips. Drop this little thing right in your front pants pocket, stick it in a vest pocket, hem it to your sleeve, or stick it inside of your table. Set it down wherever you can reach it. The audience never has to see you controlling your music, invisibly, 
with sound control.